Alright guys, so this video, we're gonna have some fun and check out the game Pressure on Roblox. And it's basically a more in-depth version of Doors. And what I mean is there's a lot more lore and other mechanics and stuff behind it rather than just seeing how far through the doors you can get. Like there's actually some story and some other stuff behind it. So let me preface this real quick by saying things you're gonna see here in this video specifically aren't unfortunately gonna be my very first impression. I did actually play about an hour of this earlier today and was trying to record a video of it and that was actually my very first take on this game in general. But my phone decided to be a piece of shit and basically I spent like an hour playing this and recording a video for my phone to turn around and basically say that there was an error and it would not save the video. It basically just told me screen recording failed. So I'm recording a whole new video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this really quick here. So there's a lot of things that are gonna already appear. So there's not gonna be like brand new content in this video as far as like oh can I just skip? Oh shit, I didn't even do that. Alright. So we're pretty much I don't know if this is like an underwater station or something. What is it? Oh wait, what? You are so lazy. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. So yeah, we pretty much are going in like this underwater station. And a lot of it is similar to doors in the sense that you're trying to see how far you can go. But there is some lore and story behind it. So it's not like it's just kind of random, like, there's basically a purpose with all this stuff. And you collect items, you collect intel. There's basically entities that you can communicate with. And there is top secret information that you're not allowed to see. And basically within all these files, every time you die, depending on what entity you get killed by, you start to learn more and more about these entities as the game goes on now you do get this currency that's like flash drives and like documents which you do use this to obtain items now we're going to kind of just start going into this i'm not going to explain anymore one because i don't want it to be so much information at once but also i like i said just a moment ago, I played like a whole hour of this. So unfortunately, not everything's going to be brand new to me. But hopefully I can show you guys some stuff that maybe haven't been shown in other videos. But the cool thing with this game though too is... I saw this pop up as a recommended game. And it was also a game that another YouTuber I watch actually played. And that's why I know more about this game too. So, I watched a little bit of him play it. Usually, I'll watch, like, all of his videos, but I didn't want to, like, spoil it for myself. So, we're going to go ahead now and get the actual gameplay started. So, we're going to start at door one. Alright. So, you've been instructed to reacquire any loose assets. Do don't disappoint. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. Let's see if we can... <laughs> so we just got instantly killed in the first room. You know, I was betting on you lasting longer than this. You owe me. Whoa, that's a lot more info given this time. Alright, so... 
every time you basically die, you get brought into this room with this thing that you talk to, which is funny because the way he talks reminds me of the Duke from Resident Evil Village. But every time you die from a certain entity, you get basically a top secret file explaining what it was that you died by. But as you can see, some of the information is blacked out because it's, you know, confidential. But the more times you die by these entities, the more info gets revealed to you. Well, let me see. Looks like there's a locker they're about to hide in. Yeah. And it'll give you tips on how to avoid the entities or survive from them, something like that too. But it'll also give you the name, like the official name for them. But if you guys want to read any of this, I mean, if you can pause it, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the locker with audible breathing is the perfect place to hide. <laughs> We're gonna just jump in. So, there are different entities that you can get these top secret files for. And. Alright, so let's start looking for some items. So, as you can see in the top right, every time you die, you lose that curve. You really do start from scratch every time you die. You do keep the files though, so like even if you die or like if you quit the game and come back in, like all your progress is saved. Which in this case is a little unfortunate because I was hoping to be able to record a game completely from scratch, but I don't think there's a way to completely reset the game. So there are things that are already available to me. But it's I mean it's not that big of a deal. Let's just get it going. So yeah, and it is like doors in the sense that the rooms are kind of randomized because obviously there was lockers over here, but yeah. Yeah, if you hear breathing, or in this case you can see that there's like eyeballs in there, you, you don't want to hide in there. Because whatever that thing was, I already forgot the name of it. Forgive me, I'm, I'm bad with remembering certain info. Flash beacon. To be fair, I know very little about this game, and I played it for all of an hour earlier, so. Yeah, there's some really cool mechanics and features. Like, the thing that I think is really cool with this game, from what I have played today, obviously before this recording, but from what I have played of this, I really do kind of prefer this so far over doors for a lot of reasons one there's actual like story and lore within the game there's the different entities the sound design with like the soundtrack and the ambience is really cool the voice acting is awesome there's another one in there I can see it And I will say before we do encounter it, this is also like doors in the sense that if there's lights flickering, something seems off, you're supposed to hide in the lockers. So whatever it is doesn't catch you. Which to be honest, that thing hasn't killed me yet. Obviously, obviously it hasn't killed me yet in this video because we haven't done much. But even when I played earlier, I was able to avoid it every time. So we. That might be a file we'll have to unlock, just to see what name that is given. I didn't even realize there's a key card there, shit. Let's see here. Let's go. Ooh, this is like that. Nothing's in there, right? Fill your inner and show the world the beauty of your gore. That is like death metal lyrics. Now, th 
this thing, I don't know if it's meant to be a weapon. But it just does burst. Like that. Almost like a camera. So I don't know if this is supposed to be like a deterrent of some kind. Or if it's just meant to be like what it seems like. I I literally don't know. Like I'm still new to this game, so some info I will not have. But I like the idea though that like yeah, you do die and can restart. But the fact that they encourage you to die because you gain more info about the story and the game as you go on. Let's see here. Nothing in there. Something in there? No. And that thing we were talking to earlier isn't just. I'll say he's not only present in the scenario when you die. From what I'm gathering, from what I've played. He's actually kind of a main character of sorts. So it's not just like something random. Like he's actually a pretty important part of this game. Which is cool. Like I said, there is like a lot of depth and lore in this game already. Now, I don't know if he's actually good or bad. Um, from what I had seen, there was some not pleasant info about him, but he's also been helpful at the same time, so I don't know how to make of him yet. first time we've had water and yeah you, you can like swim through water and stuff too oh this is crazy what you can do this underwater too is wild. Dude, what the hell? How long am I going to be underwater for? Can I go up? I don't know if I'm like limited on how much I can explore or not, so I'm kind of nervous to stay underwater for too long. So I kind of want to just get out. Is there anything up? Like, can I get. No, not really. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have any like underwater sections like this when I played previously, so this is brand new to me. Dude, this is so fucking cool.
Yeah, I'll say if you like the game Doors, definitely play this game. Definitely. Yeah, so I, I do apologize if it does seem like we're kind of just thrown into it in this video because we kind of are. I, I wasn't able to find a way, I don't think there's a way, to reset the game so you can actually start over. I think once you're in it, you're in it. And it just saves your progress. And fuck, I, I already know what's happening. Yeah, I, I wish I could have restarted it so it can give you like an actual fresh look. Slide out. What's over here? Well, I want to know why that's currency. Like power cells and flash drives. Unless it's supposed to be like represented as um, like the sellable intel. Wait. Am I stupid? Oh, that was the right way. Okay. I was thinking it was wrong because I couldn't see the door number. That's already something new. That's already something new I haven't seen, so I want to explore all about here first. Let's see what's up in this room. Whoa. Okay, so I guess we were going to need a key card, but I didn't figure that out yet. Um, this is cool. some reason my brightness is down and I didn't even do anything. Whoa, oh, oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> I wonder, can I just not look at it? Nope. Fuck that. I'm just going. <laughs> I give him the best shot. It's just not worth it. I, I want to progress farther in this game before we get screwed like that. <laughs> So it's crazy because there is currency you can use in game to buy items like the flashlight. But it seems like there's also that mechanic too of depending on how many doors you go through is also like how much of something that you gain. Oh, I didn't even see that up there. Alright, we don't have anything else in here I can see other than right here. Flashlight off. What do we have over here? Just lockers. Alright, let's head down this way. Oh, that's cool. There's a whole different level down there. What's up with the valves? Oh, whoops, there was a... There we go. I almost missed that flash drive. That was so nice. Yeah, this game is really cool. Like, you can just fly through this if you really wanted to, but the fact that there's, like, lore to the game... Like, it makes me want to kind of just take my time, look around, and, like, see what all there is. Oh, 
Like I just I don't want to miss anything. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, those things, you can't look at them. But I barely even... Oh, fuck, there was one right there. Yeah, if you don't look at them, you're fine. Nope. Same with this, you can't look at it. Because you'll die. Is he gone? Okay, let me get whatever intel's in here. That was bullshit. I thought it was going to get me. Ooh, some currency. And a code breacher. So this thing is basically if you do not find a key card and you need to get out. So like in a case like this, like if you don't have the timer ability to like look around and you need to hurry up and get the fuck out, if you have that code breacher, you can use that as a means to hurry up and just get through the door. So that way you're not like stuck in the room any longer. Or if you just don't feel like looking for a key, but... Oh, whoops. I don't see any of those things. What the hell is that? Oh. Let's see here. I want to get currency because there's... There's actually a merchant in this game, believe it or not. So I want to make sure I have funds in case the merchant's got any cool little items I can use. And item spawns are also random. I mean, I'm sure it was pretty obvious. Oh, this is different. I never had to do like a weird obstacle course like this before. How did I almost fall? Like, I'm not even kidding. How did I almost fall? So we got 725. I really wish you could look on these laptops. Like, I wish there was like a little key bits of info. That's, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, I can't go in there. There we go. I almost got so screwed. I think there's a key. Is there a way I can go in there? I didn't find a key card though, so I don't think I can go in there right now. Well, 
I guess I'm just not going in there right now. What a tease. Wait. 36. Oh, fuck. Um, okay. Um. Let's just. Let's just see. Is it this one? Nope. Fuck. Stop. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know he's gonna be behind that fucking door. Oh, come on. Dude, they're relentless in this right now. Oh, fuck. He's right there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Can I get some like flashlight batteries, please? That would be greatly appreciated. Alright, what do we have? Stop. Okay, I'm trying to move. I'm like clicking on the. Oh, wait, wait. This office got fucked up. Hell yeah. Dude, I hear shit roaming. I don't know what I hear. I don't. <laughs> I see you in there, you fuck. Alright, I think we've explored everything in this room. Uh, you guys probably can't see it, but like my phone brightness keeps acting fucking weird. What the fuck is that? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. So let's go this way. Can I get a second flashlight or? Oh no, just. Damn. Actually, I should use that right now. Let me see if it heals all the way. Okay, so you actually... You actually get a good amount back from that, which is crazy. Oh, shit, shit. Fuck you. Or not anything. Okay, that made me think that there was something coming. So what the fuck? What was that bullshit then? Game troll me like yeah, we're just gonna make you go hide in a locker. Like a 
thousand dollars worth of top secret info to sell. <laughs> Whenever like I die die, we'll go through some of the files so you guys can kind of see the stuff that I have unlocked so far that you didn't get to see the first time I played. Since you know my phone wanted to be a piece of shit. No, no. Give me that. Oh fuck. We'll hide in the locker next to him. <laughs> Come on. There it comes. Hell yeah. Yeah, this game makes me want to spend more time like exploring rooms compared to doors, just because there's things you can buy like cool things you can buy too mind you not even not even just like little random stuff like like the guy that we were talking to earlier like he has a top secret file and you had to have a about like a thousand dollars to be able to like obtain his file and like read more about him Wait, this is different. I've never been in a room like this. Ooh. I wonder what they were doing in here. Secret things. Oh, key card. Hell yeah. That's always fun. And you don't even realize you need a key card yet and you find it. Wait, what was up there? Now, I wonder, does this thing work against that? Let me just try something here, ready? Nope. God damn it. Okay. You can't get me, you can't get me. <laughs> you gone? Hell yeah, let's explore now. Oh, fuck. Where's our locker? Where's our locker? Perfect. Okay. This game is just awesome. I love this. How are you going to tell me a top secret file is only worth 10 bucks? <laughs> uh oh, oh, no, no. You son of a bitch. Shit. There's one right there, too. Why is the screen cracked like that? Is it because I took damage? Forty-eight. I'm 
just trying to go because I don't know what's. <gasps> Wait, what? Welcome. Oh. Got some things that you may find useful on your endeavor for a price, obviously. All right. Well, since we got this far, this quick. So, yeah, that thing that we were talking to earlier is this monstrosity of whatever the fuck you want to call it. But, um, wait, is there another file? Sebastian's document. We, we already bought that, though. You I already thought. have that. Yeah, that's what I thought. See, so, yeah, we'll be able to read his file, like, toward the end of the video. But it's like, he's here helping us. But he's also kind of made out to be evil in his file. So I don't know... I don't know what to think of him yet. So let's see what he's... Yeah, this is... This is insane. Okay, so what can we buy? So let's... let's Naturally. What else we got? The flash beacon. Is, is there any other items here? Or is that just it for now? Is there nothing else that he's got for me? Why he chuckles at that? Yeah, th this guy. Like he's definitely something, that's for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and head back. Oh fuck off! Fuck. I wonder if I could have went and hid with Sebastian. <laughs> like, honestly, I wonder if that could have been a thing. Oh, fuck. Too close to the Sun Award. Come on, come on, come on. I was gonna ask if those things were gonna be, like, here too. Like, under the water, but that answered my question pretty quick. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. So, yeah. That thing that we were talking to earlier that was talking about the files is an entity of his own. Or, he's an entity himself. Oh, you fuck off. Asshole, buddy. We're in a little office space. Let's see what we can get out here. So, yeah, all that stuff that we collect that comes up that's basically currency, you can use to buy items from them. So, he's Sebastian's. He's here to basically help guide us through this and be here for us as a friend to an extent. But, like, I still don't know if he's technically, like, evil or not.
Like, it just, it, it, that hasn't been established yet. Oh. What am I hearing? Um. Well, we hadn't found a key card, so I don't think. Unless. Did I just overlook it? Or did I not? I feel like I would have seen it already. that wait it's right there I'm dumb I was just gonna say I didn't want to use that I didn't want to use that item yet what the fuck am I hearing oh you piece of shit Keep it moving. Oh, we got two code breachers. Sweet. Let's see. We got a key card that can get used for, I think for this actually. Yeah. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Can we get anything fancy in here? Anything in that locker? We got five dollars in that one. Um, nothing else. Oh, there's item lockers over here too. I didn't even see that. Okay. All right. So I guess we're gonna. What? Hmm. That didn't seem odd being able to see his light. Oh, it's fine. We got this. What the fuck? What? This is the farthest I've gotten in this game, by the way. So everything from this point on is going to be kind of new to me. I don't know how far this game goes, to be honest. I'm trying to... Okay, I'm trying to the very bottom. No, and I didn't mean to shoot that off. Whatever. We're just, we're just not going to do that one. How about that? Items, items.
All right, guys, so we're gonna take another crack at this. Um, I had to stop because it's like almost nine o'clock at night and I had my daughter down for bed and she started having like a meltdown. So I like kind of set my phone to the side and stopped recording for a second, but when I want to try to jump back in, it basically like refreshed the Roblox page. So it kicked me out of the game. <laughs> so before we do more, let me show you the files. Hey. Alright, so we get two different kinds of files. Urban Shade, which I'm assuming... That's funny, that's basically a pentagram. But, um... I'm assuming Urban Shade is supposed to be... The company or something that we're dealing with. So let's see, these haven't seen the Divine. What is this? Alright, so let's see. So I'll kind of let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit there. So I'll kind of hold that there for a second. You can pause these as you wish to read them. So this one, we didn't come across it previously, but this, there's like greenhouse basically stuff where there's like, they look like just plants, but apparently they were actual people at one point. So I'm assuming from what I can understand that there's going to be different entities. So Ifestation is one of them, which... So this was a bull shark used for a program. A lot of info is left out, but the more times we die by that thing, the more info we're granted. All right. So then it says that you pretty much have to try to get out of the room and just avoid looking at it and let them take over. We'll look at that one. And then the other one we'll look at is Sebastian's file that I purchased previously. So there's a little bit of info that we don't get. But you can see what he used to look like, what he looks like now. But yeah, he seems to be helpful. But in his file, they say he's dangerous and it's to be killed on sight. So I don't know if that's just they don't want... Oh, the screen recording saved. That's just the notification for the first half of this video. But um... Yeah, like they're pretty much saying he's supposed to be killed on sight, but he's been trying to help us at the same time, and he's willing to give us, like, items to help in the game if we sell him the stuff that we get, which is basically all that currency that we've been getting, like the flash drives, the files, all that. So, we're going to go one more time in here. So, you can buy items based off of how many doors you've gone through, like, you kind of crazy for it. Kind of like the game doors. But you get the items in this crate over here if you purchase them, so... I should charge you more for this. And the other part of the lore that didn't get shown so far that I completely forgot about to mention until now. So, basically, our character is some kind of prisoner. And a company comes in saying... They need help with this kind of mission, basically, and recruiting people from the prison, and we're one of the people that volunteered to do it. It's basically the gist of this game, or at least the story that they're trying to convey. Let's just go ahead and... I really like the soundtrack to this game. It's just, it's really cool. Like, it kind of makes me think of, like, Cry of Fear, The Last of Us, Resident Evil. Like, if somebody made this into, like, a YouTube video, like, just the soundtrack to listen to, 
oh, I would so listen to this while, like, doing, like, chores around the house or whatnot. 100%. So, uh, to all, to anybody involved in making this game, if you can make that happen, I would really appreciate that. I'm gonna try to speed run it a little bit. Since I kind of, I kind of got screwed by getting kicked out of the game indirectly. Ooh, we got a big lab this time. Yeah, that was the farthest I got in this game too. And of course, that happened to me, but whatever. We're just kind of rolling with it. It was already bad enough that I didn't get to show like the very first impression of me playing this because of the fact that my phone screwed up the first time. But content way. So, this is what you get, whether you like it or not. <laughs> it's not really by choice, it was just technical fuck-ups. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, so wait, there's a card somewhere. Where did I not look? Is there one in here I missed? Let me stop touching shit. Like, did I really just look right over a key card? I sure did. Because I'm a dummy. Party rolling. I can't believe that I had so much currency. I bought a med pack and for nothing. For fucking nothing. I'm not gonna let this thing kill me. I know I need to get this file, but I'm, I don't want to let him kill me. I want to get as far as I can. Yeah, and I have a flashlight. Great! It's one of those things where I want to be like the kid with the whole, like, the avocado video where he goes, Gee, thanks! I'm trying to let my personality kind of show in these videos a little bit more. Like, my humor and my thoughts. My terrible inner dialogue. I'm going to try to go a little faster. Can I go? I can go in the vent, but... Does this say maintenance? Oh, wait. I can't go in there anyway. Never mind. I wonder if you get a file for going in the water or current-filled water. <laughs> Of thought, I know, but I'm curious. So we're at room eight. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I really do wish I could have just gave you guys the content in the order that you would have seen it, so it made more sense playing this, but again, I had no control of that. I was really bummed too, because I've never had that problem. I think when I was originally trying to record this earlier today, I think I recorded for just over an hour, and I've had times where I've recorded for... I don't like that. But I've had times where I've recorded for like like an hour and 20 minutes and been totally fine. And just instead of getting that notification of like 
you know, recording saved, like you saw it come up on my screen. It just came up saying, hey, recording failed. And I was just like, well, fuck. Let's see what we can find in here. Hopefully, because I got out of the room, he's just gone. Put that away for a second so I keep looking. Are you kidding me? He can get me from out there? I call bullshit. Uh-uh. Seems like as long as you can get to the next room, you're pretty much safe. So people like come back and freely explore. It's just that initial like once he shows up, you kind of have to keep your back to him and get the hell out of the room. I'm not gonna fully explore this room. I just wanna keep moving. Oh! I'm sorry. Yeah, you better be sorry. That sucked. I figured because there wasn't the number there that that wasn't. Hopefully I find a health pack. What is that sound? That like almost purring kind of sound. What the fuck? I don't like that. Can I get a health pack? <laughs> Please. Now, I don't know how audible it's going to be, but if you hear, like, almost a lullaby type sound in the background, that's actually in my house. I got my, basically a baby mom sitting like, a foot from me, and I had to put something on to kind of help soothe her so she'd go back to bed. I don't know how many of you guys have kids, but, yeah, she's just... She's been kind of having some hard times lately, and I don't understand what's going on. Just rent. Of course. But just kind of like randomly waking up and. I'm just trying to run. I'm not trying to get in here. Hell yeah. Right. But yeah, she's like having trouble staying asleep sometimes, and 
she'll take a nap in the middle of the day, and usually she's out for, like, a couple hours, but it's, like, there's been a couple times lately where she's only down for, like, an hour and just will not go back to sleep. Perfect, because that's what I want. Go. I'm trying to get as much content in this video as I can since I got screwed out of my content the first time. Door 21. Oh, are you fucking kidding me right now? Come on, let's go. Fucking hell. No, no, I did not even look at you. I was looking away. Get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. <sighs> that was complete bullshit. Of course, right after I got a health pack, too, is when that happened. Whatever. We still got 75. So we're okay. As long as I get close to 50, we'll be able to see Sebastian again. And get some more goodies, hopefully. But we'll see what happens, because my phone's already at 20%. And I know I only have so much longer to play this game right now, too. I might not get too much farther. But we can always do more videos. Oh, okay. So this is what was in that file. These, like, people things. So they basically say, as long as you don't step in the grass, I guess. Which, I never had issues with them. But I guess you have to stay... Like, keep to yourself and don't touch their stuff. And you're fine. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. I hear it. Come on. Let's get it over with. There's nothing even in here. I don't like that. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. So I gotta avoid him and not walk in their shit. Oh, this is terrible. This sucks. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, why is this on fire? What the hell? Um. Okay. Well, I'm generous and not walking you guys' stuff. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just trying to pass on by, you know. Oh, fucking. No, I'm gonna die. Or will I? Yep, here it comes.
They're trying so hard to get me this time. Is this the door? Joe music. I'm trying to go fast here. I want to show you guys cool shit. Oh god, he was right there. Fucking asshole. Like it really does make me feel like I'm exploring some kind of lab. So we're at 33. Let's keep it going. Oh, we need a key card. You know what? Fuck it. I got one of these. Let's just use it. Yeah, each one of those is a one-time use. this wait that's where we just came from shit damaged. So we're not going that way. I see you in there. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, am I walking across this? Oh. What? This game is just insane. Like I, I mean that in a good way too. I, just, I like how I like that it's similar to Doors, but it's different enough that it's definitely its own game. Oh fucking hell! Nope, 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 nope. Running. flashlight whoa iron lockers anything 
Anything? Nope. Oh, you're gonna pull this shit on me? Come on. I feel like that would have opened already. Maybe, maybe I'm fucked, aren't I? Yep. want to paint yeah with my blood buddy if you want to be left alone just put it back next time oh fucking that's bullshit such bullshit come on nope I'm looking away I'm looking away I'm looking away Oh, we go in the vent? Okay. Fine by me. I'm trying to go slow because I don't know where anything's at. I saw him, I saw him, I'm going. <laughs> okay, is there a health pack anywhere? Come on. I feel like I've suffered enough. I deserve to get a health pack. Can I go see Sebastian? I, I don't want to do this. Thank God. Let me go around. Underwater. Oh, no. Oh, my phone's getting close to dying, too. Shit. Oh, fuck.
I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Oh, fuck. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I just want to get out of this. I just went the wrong way, didn't I? Fuck. Door 50. Here we go. Welcome back, friend. Yep, welcome back indeed. All right, so give me this. Naturally. Yeah, cause I want to heal now. Flashlight. What do you need that for? You don't find many of those around. Use it wisely. Sure thing, buddy. Always be positive and look at the bright side of life. I won't, but you guys should. <laughs> Shit, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Ha ha ha. No, fuck off. No, give me that. Okay, I gotta check something real quick. Alright, let's just see what's in this door real quick. And. Well, it's darkness. Alright, so. I'm actually running out of time. I gotta hop off here and do some stuff around my house before I go to bed. But I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay that you've gotten to see of this so far from me. And if you want to see me continue to play this and try to go farther, leave a comment down below. And make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with your friends if you want them to check this out also. But thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.